after the, oh um welcome to whiskey buds i'm kurt i'm billy and the whiskey of the week this week we're gonna do legion mm-hmm. what's that it's whiskey <laughs> <laughs> Why? So it's, so it's run a whiskey show yeah two true legends yep. one truly unique bourbon Kentucky mm-hmm. straight bourbon whiskey, partially finished in wine and show. Oh boy! Oh All right. Boy. So we had Hibiki Harmony on the show, right? Japanese. Yes. I can't believe he remembered that. Of course. He simply could not have been guessing. Yeah, that's why you know. he said it. <laughs> oh, Hibiki. <laughs> Hibiki. <laughs> Anyways. Um, for those of you who don't know it, I probably mentioned it on the show at one point, but the Japanese really like their bourbon, and they make some really nice whiskeys. Wait up, hold up. What? Kentucky, Japan? Yeah. I was wondering what you were talking about. Japanese, Japanese. whiskeys oh when God, we're I drinking just, a bourbon? I just read Kentucky. Yeah. So, there is a... It's one bourbon. Yeah, there's a brand out. Uh, brand? I don't know. Anyways, um... Yeah, a, a business, a company name, right? Suntory Beam, right? Suntory makes Hibiki Harmony, mm-hmm. right? And then Beam is for Jim Beam. So the Japanese Suntory company actually owns Jim Beam. What? Yeah. I told you Japanese like their bourbon, right? Okay. They also like whiskey. They, they make whiskey, so... But they're... You know, the Japanese are very, very meticulous in what they do, right? Like sword making and other stuff and blending whiskeys. Dude, they make good stuff. Right? They really do. And their whiskeys are really good, even if Billy hasn't necessarily enjoyed all of the Japanese whiskeys he's had. I'll tell you, I had a Japanese motorcycle. Uh Uh-huh. Amazing. Yep. I have a Japanese motorcycle right now. Yeah. Amazing. And a Japanese car. Yeah. So. Very well made. This is a idea of that because, you know, the two companies are under one umbrella, basically. What were to happen if you were to take bourbons and age them in different wine casks or different casks, right? Uh, you got a wine cask, a uh, sherry cask, is it? I'd have to double check again. That's what it said. Yeah. And then uh, I think just the regular bourbon cask, right? Wine and sherry casks. Yeah. And then they send them to Japan. This has got like a anime kind of uh-huh. looking thing on it. Yeah. A shonen whiskey. Do we read this? It looks like good. Would you like to? All right. Two really? legendary creators behind some of the world's most revered whiskeys have come together to bring you something special. Yep. Expertly distilled by seventh generation master distiller Fred No. Yeah, from Jim Beam. And then refined by world renowned Chief. Blender, uh oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Shinji, Fukyu, Fu- <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? Nothing. Fukuyo, Fukuyo, yeah. I was doing so well up until that point. Yeah. Uh- <laughs> Legion is a marriage of East and West. It's a celebration of the craftsmanship of Kentucky bourbon balanced with the artistry of Japanese blending. From rich aromas of mature oak and lingering spice to the flavors of dried fruits pulled from wine and cherry casks, every slip, every sip of... Every slip of the tongue. Hey, I'm getting glares on here because of these bright lights. (laughs) Yeah, that's what it is. Every sip of Legion is worth savoring and sharing. Sounds exciting. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, it was. it's literally just Jim Beam bourbons, right? Specially selected or whatever, specially finished, sent over to Japan to be blended there by the Japanese master blenders there. And what was his name? I don't know. <laughs> Fukuyami? I don't know. Fukushi? That's right there. Fukuyo. <laughs> Fukuyo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... And Fred No, who is, of course, like seventh generation from... Jim Beam. Fukio. Yeah. So. I, I wish know. I knew how to say that because I hate saying people's names, names wrong. wrong. Yeah. You probably don't have the right accent either. 
Anyway, so what does Jap what does American bourbon finished by Japanese, you know, blended by Japanese people taste like? Okay. I would think it would taste very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just do, do, do you not understand the Japanese love for bourbon? In the well, 60s, 70s know, like, or whatever, right, when, when Americans had enough with whiskey and enough with bourbon especially, because that was considered like the old man drink or the old, like, that was the old-fashioned drink, right? No, we want the new modern stuff, so we want gins and vodkas. Like, that was all the craze, you know, cosmopolitans, gin mm -hmm. and tonics, all that fun stuff, right? Like, mm -hmm. that become hugely popular. Literally, the bourbon market was floundering to a point where it was almost done. The Japanese single-handedly kept that market open. Mm. They were the biggest consumers of bourbon in that time, like across the world. Like we, we had more money coming in from exporting it to Japan than anything else, right? Like I think they were consuming more bourbon than the whole rest of the world combined. So like I have to imagine that they have a love for bourbon, that when it comes to their blending arts, that we should hopefully... I don't know, you think of like... Have a, a nice, pleasant, like... Like, what if Toyota and Chevy got together and made a car? <sighs> right? <laughs> like, Chevy would ruin it, right? <laughs> what if Chevy, like, had sent them the parts, though? Or Toyota like, would ruin it based on what kind, what, what flavor of vehicle you like. <laughs> yeah, but, but what if they sent the parts and then Toyota put them together? Like, they would probably like, bitch here's what we have. <laughs> send us <laughs> do better yeah well how about in this case they actually do enjoy what you sent them like okay okay let's give it i can't dude tell. like it like for a bourbon it is very subtle on the nose i that's what i'm thinking i am not picking up much of anything here no like well i'm picking up stuff but it's it's subtle it's nuanced it's mm -hmm. i'm used Did, to bourbons being so bold that they really like yeah didn't it say something about spice punch you in the here? nose Rich aromas of mature oak and lingering spice. Yeah, I'm not. It says rich aromas, but I'm not getting that. I, I think I need a better nose to be able to catch those lingering aromas. Or can you know? get much bigger. <laughs> so I said, I said, better not bigger, holy crap. Like, <laughs> you know, do bigger noses smell better? I have no clue, but it doesn't work in my case. Like, No, I think the bigger they are, the, the worse they work. Like. They just, well, mine's not doing much here for me here. I can't. Yeah. No? I can't smell nothing, Harley. It's, like, like I said, very subtle. Like, very gentle. Strange for a bourbon. It's hyperventilating over here. Trying to... Clear the nasal <laughs> cavities? <laughs> yeah. No, well, that didn't work. That didn't no. work at all. Mm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I it like is that. good. It is good. Oh man. No proof. Forty seven percent. Is it? Forty seven? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it yeah. tasted a little bit stronger than than the oh, yeah. we've been yeah, the... lately, but not well, that much. Considering how gentle that nose was. And then you taste it, like it is definitely a bourbon, but it is a finished bourbon. Like you, you do get those fruity, yeah, and the sweetness wine and 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 sherry notes and stuff like that. Like, like it comes through, and but it it's it's good. very subtle, yeah. very subtle. It's like, right? Yeah. Oh man, like that is most certainly something that uh, that you could sit with and and sip on for a little while. Hmm. I'm trying to wait for you to start talking so that Okay, I can so see. there's a very strong flavor and I was trying to figure out what it was and I think it's the oak. The mature oak they're talking about there. I think that's what I'm tasting. Like that's the overwhelming flavor of it. And then that like that hits you first kind of yes. and then the sweetness blooms out of that. And there it's go. it's yeah. a good sweetness. It's not overpowering. It's no. not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's not really any distinct flavor of sweetness, really, that I can tell. But it's good. I I do. I think I get a little bit of a, a fruity. Well, yeah. On it, like it's not a, a sugary or a caramel sweetness, right? It's a, no, but it's it's more of like yeah, fruit sweetness, as in. 
Yeah, but it's not like, it doesn't really taste like a fruit I could identify. It's generic fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fruit roll-ups. <laughs> <laughs> The alcohol blends well with everything too. Like it doesn't, it's not a prominent feature of it that's That stands out or, or any, yeah. Go back and smell it again, cause I'm getting some notes now. Okay, you can definitely smell the oak. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe that's what. <laughs> tr trouble is finding it around here. Like it's not like it's- Where did you find it? Colorado. Oh. I had to go down there and pick it up. And... <laughs> I'm going to drive hundreds of miles to get this. Yeah. You don't understand. It actually <laughs> is true. Like, yeah. Maybe we'll have to do that. This says lingering spice. Lingering spice. Remember that? Yeah. Are you feeling that? I am. I <laughs> actually, now that, you, now that you say it, I'm like, I, I got really it on the tongue. It really is there, isn't it? It's yeah. like very spicy still. It really is. Mouth. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, I hate to say it because, you know, I need to get a hold of more of this stuff myself. I only have this one bottle, but, yeah, that's one I would like to keep on the shelf. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Which is weird because <laughs> Don't make him choose. if I saw a bourbon with sherry cask, I'd be like, yes. Like, if you just mm -hmm. told me bourbon, oh, sherry, yeah. wine, cask, mm -hmm. whatever finish versus a rye. I'm going to insert. I'd be like, no on the rye. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I'm going to insert the, the moment when you tried Angel's Envy which is bourbon aged in a port cask, which is a, a fortified sherry, basically, right? Like fortified wine. Wait a minute, I don't remember it's a dessert liking wine. that. No, you did not. <clears throat> Didn't like it, huh? I don't Man. like anything about it. <laughs> After you just said now. <laughs> okay. Oh, bourbon and sherry? Yes, please. Like, And you're going to be like, I don't like anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but didn't I, isn't there other bourbons in Finnish? Dalmore, right? What's Dalmore? Dalmore's a scotch, and it's oh. aged exclusively in sherry casks. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Let's go with that then. <laughs> <laughs> the Dalmore's good. Yeah. And the Bowmore, which is aged, aged in sherry casks, but that's a smoked scotch. Like, that's a peated scotch, so oh, that one's a little different, too. Oh. This one's a bourbon, so it's like a whole different starting Wait, have we had a bourbon finished in... Sherry? Yeah. No. Port, but not sherry. I don't think. You might be right. Yeah. So I did the I... Angel's Envy, and I'm like, whoa, bur chart. Billy does not like So this is actually bourbons. pretty impressive, then. For you, yes. Actually. Yeah, because it's not a scotch. It's a bourbon that's... <laughs> Aged in the extra little... It's finished in the sherry and the uh, wine. And it really comes together. Those Japanese know how to blend their whiskeys, I tell you that. Okay. All right. All right. Um, yeah, this I'll, is a running I'll long. I'll stop so. and not say anything else. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Bye.